Oh, um, rejection letters, which all start out the same with either good afternoon or good day. Thank you so much for applying. We received so many applicants. And it's par for the course, like people get those. Um, for me, I made a lifestyle change five years ago, or actually six years ago when I decided to no longer keep my mid-career corporate human resources gig. Um, I just realized that I wasn't really fulfilled and happy. So for me to make that lifestyle change of having a very secure income, um, having a house that I could have bought and someone could be renting right now, you know, as so I can have that soft income coming in. Um, could have did that, but now, having decided to do this, um, getting those rejection letters or someone stating, oh, we don't think you're right for this particular exhibition or show, I just take it as, it's just something that's part of it. You know, um, it doesn't mean that I won't be successful, it just means that it wasn't the right space or the right venue for what it is I'm trying to obtain, so. How do you know when it's over, been overworked? <sighs> when it's not good. <laughs> and by not good, it's like, um, okay, I'll, I'll give you a good example. In, in the recent piece in the show, and the actual dish has like this very ornate um, decorative elements around the rim, and I was busting my ass off trying to recreate that thing like five or six different times. And it's not as though that, well, part of it was that it, it, it wasn't coming out like there was so much going on with the perspective and angle that when it was completed, that with the meat and how that was rendered, the meat didn't stand out. And that's what I wanted to stand out. So... For that particular pea, both of them done, it became muddled. So compositionally and aesthetically, I don't want muddled in something that I work in a pretty fairly represent in a very representational way. So to avoid that particular failure, I'd spend a couple of days, actually like a full day just looking at it and looking at it. And then I just wiped out the detail of that dish so that the key thing that I want to stand out that have meaning was prominent. So, um, the work coming to February show are three different series, three series of still life work, and they all deal with the entrance of wealth, um, the end result of wealth, the power that can be associated with wealth and or poverty and identity the identity of wealth as well. There are a lot of things I'm hoping to avoid so that the pieces succeed and don't fall into those same trappings of the, his, the, yeah, the historical still life. When you finish a painting, if you decide that it's not successful, what happens? I put it aside. In the past, I used to wipe them down. Like I would just scrub it all the way off. Um, now I just set it aside until I realize what it is I need to do to make it successful. Or I'll just re recompose it. Like I'll set it aside and look at it. I'll start working on something else. And then I'll just continue to play with it until it works. And if, I, and if it doesn't work, then it's like it's not an idea that I can figure out right now.